solve large intractable problems. It's a new venture altogether. Your brain is a wild horse there. Because remember, writing is not a team sport. You are not selling horse carriages when there are cars. I want to be known only as a trusted advisor. More like a tourist. Play to Potential Podcast. And a related question here, David, is very often when you're in the heat of a, of a moment, of an interaction, very often uh, we, we aren't mindful of how we are coming across. You know, a lot of, let's say, the, if we stick with this uh, metaphor of the net, um, I would imagine some of the stuff uh, that transpires is often in the blind spot of that person. You know, I don't even know that I'm doing this. Any any reflections on that, uh, just in terms of tuning in to what's going on? Well, I'll answer that in a minute, but I think the bigger hmm. problem is we often don't know what we feel. Hmm. And I think we need to start with being aware of our feelings. And not infrequently, when Carol and I work with each other, and we get into our own disagreements, one of us will say, wait a minute, I'm not sure I know what I'm feeling. And we stop. And we sort of ask ourselves, I wonder what I'm feeling. Hmm. So that's the major problem. When you're talking about blind spots, one of the interesting things about this mode of interaction is if we can get into a conversation, I'm likely to discover my blind spots. So let's say, um, and again, I'm making this up. You're, you're not giving me enough real data that I could use. <laughs> <laughs> you're too nice. So I'm going to make this up. So, so let's assume that um, you've done something that's really bothered me. I say, hey, Deepak, I really feel hurt by that. Uh, and so on. And you say, Jim, I'm sorry. And then you might say, See, what's interesting, David, is this is the third time that you said that. I wonder what's going on. Well, that might get me to reflect. You're not telling me what you think is going on because you realize you don't know, but you're puzzled. You say, David, mm. what's going on? And I'm like, say, oh, what I realize is that uh, I guess I tend to get competitive, particularly with men. Oh, so I'm learning something. I'm not only learning the impact of my behavior, but I'm learning something about me. Hmm. So I don't have to have it all figured out. What we say is, if you know your feelings and you can identify the behavior, you're 90% there. Let's talk about that, David. Um, we're all taught language in a formal way. English, the alphabet, the grammar. Um, <laughs> t t tell us a little bit about the vocabulary of emotions. You know, uh, where do we start and, uh, you know, what's, what's a good place for us to get a sense of what that uh, the wheel of emotions looks like? Is there, a, is, there a, um, is there an approach that you suggest for people to start building that vocabulary? I think there's two things. One is, we would say, um, well, buy the book, and in the appendix is a long list of uh, <laughs> motions. But that's not nearly as helpful as what is really helpful is, as you go through the day, stop and say, I wonder what I'm feeling. We almost always are feeling something. Usually it's at such a low level, it doesn't register unless somebody cuts us off of the road and we get into anger. Um, but if you start to do that, you'll start to say, hmm, I'm feeling a little worried about this upcoming meeting. Hmm, I'm really feeling, uh, looking forward to meeting with uh, uh, Nasha. Hmm, I'm uh, really uh, hoping that, and now you're starting to, 
be more in touch with those low-level feelings, which often aren't low-level, but are ones that we have pushed down because mm. we've sort of been trained, um, beware of feelings, leave feelings out of it. Emotions have no place, but emotions are everywhere. Hmm. And at some level, this requires a certain level of uh, mindfulness. Is that is that the right way to frame it? To to observe ourselves, to observe the others. Uh, what, what what do you suggest uh, to leaders? Can I, excuse, Please, excuse me, let me break in. Please. What I would really stress is mindfulness about ourselves. Hmm. Mindfulness about others gets us into story making. Hmm. Hmm. We may want to be observant of others. Gee, that person went silent. That person seemed to frown. Can we observe their behavior and responses, hmm. but not be mindfulness about, I wonder what's going on with them, because that leads you down a dark rabbit hole hmm. of uh, your, the stories you're making up. 